again, Belmont. It's so great to see everybody here. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to Belmont's first celebration of Indigenous Peoples Day. We are very excited to have Matt and Phila here in Belmont for, for you this morning. Uh, I'm Catherine Bonfilio, a proud Italian-American, and I am here representing Belmont Against Racism. Uh, Barr is honored to be the financial supporter of today's program. We want to thank everyone who worked on the Indigenous Peoples Day Committee, including Administrator Patrice Garvin, Assistant Town Administrator John Marshall, Adam Dash, Chair of the Select Board, Brian Nadeau, Chair of the Human Rights Commission, Kim Haley Jackson, a charity of, uh, Chair of the Diversity Task Force, and myself. Uh, we also thank Superintendent Phelan, the School Department, and Winbrook School for the use of this space this morning. <clears throat> and we give a loud shout off to Stephanie Cremont for all of her efforts to make today's possible event possible. And of course, and of course, always here for us in our community, Belmont Media Center. So thank you. For <laughs> We would not be celebrating today if not for the dedication and hard work of two high school students, Laura Otarova and Alex Fick. You'll be hearing from Laura uh, shortly. Alex is now in college. Laura and Alex, we owe you both a debt of gratitude and thank you for your advocacy in getting the initiative through town meeting. We also thank Matoli Monroe, the United American Indians of New England, for her assistance and for sharing uh, her knowledge with us. I also want to just recognize we have some uh, leaders in their community. Representative Dave Rogers is here with us this morning. In addition to Adam Dash, select board uh, member, uh, Mark Paolillo. And if I've forgotten somebody, we'll acknowledge you later. Before I turn the program over to Jen Hoyda of the Belmont Religious Council for a prayer, I would like to open the program with a land acknowledgement. We acknowledge that the residents of Belmont live on unceded land that is the traditional territory of indigenous Massachusetts tribe. The Massachusetts cared for and stewarded this land for hundreds of generations. We acknowledge their elders, both past and present, as well as future generations. We acknowledge the history of exclusion and erasure of indigenous people that continues to this day. We remember the connection of indigenous peoples to this land and appreciate the opportunity to live and learn in their traditional homeland as we reflect on how we could be good visitors and stewards of this place called home. I now call on Jen Hoyda, Chair of the Belmont Religious Council. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me. It is the pleasure of the Belmont Religious Council to be a co-sponsor today to commemorate our town's first Indigenous Peoples Day celebration. I'd like to share a Taino prayer on this special occasion. Thank you, great creator. Grandfather Sun, Grandmother Moon, we, your children, your servants, welcome your love, light and medicine, with respect and gratitude, we call on you to fill our hearts with wisdom today, tomorrow, and always. And from the Baha'i tradition that holds the unity of mankind, the pivotal teaching for our age, I offer this prayer for humanity. O oh, thou kind Lord, thou hast created all humanity from the same stock. Thou hast decreed that all shall belong to the same household. In thy holy presence, they are all thy servants and all mankind are sheltered beneath thy tabernacle. All have gathered together at thy table of bounty, all are illumined through the light of thy providence. O oh God, thou art kind to all, thou hast provided for all, 
dost shelter all, conferrest life upon all. Thou hast endowed each and all with talents and faculties and are submerged in the ocean of thy mercy. O thou kind Lord, unite all. Let the religions agree and make the nations one so that they may see each other as one family and the whole earth as one home. May they all live together in perfect harmony. O God, raise aloft the banner of oneness of, hum of mankind. Establish the most great peace. Cement thou, O God, the hearts together. Thou art the mighty and powerful. Thou art the forgiving and thou art the one who overlooketh the shortcomings of all mankind. Abdul Baha. I will now pass to Laura of Charova, president of the Belmont High School Student Activist Club. Hi everyone, I'm Laura of Charova, president of the Student Activist Club at Belmont High School. About a year ago, Student Activist Club started a petition and began working towards changing Columbus Day to Indigenous Peoples Day here in Belmont. We felt this change would be the important first step towards celebrating and honoring Indigenous peoples and moving away from honoring Columbus and his terrible history. Last May, we were successful as Belmont's town meeting voted overwhelmingly to institute Indigenous Peoples Day. We are very grateful to all the people who supported us throughout this process and I'm so happy to be a part of our first celebration of Indigenous Peoples Day. Thank you. I will now I'll now pass the mic to Adam Dash, Chair of the Select Board. Thank you, Laura, for your advocacy of this uh, important issue. I'll now read a proclamation that was issued by the Select Board, which will be presented to the town for future display in Town Hall. It's a Town of Belmont, Massachusetts Select Board Proclamation. Whereas, in accordance with Article 5 voted at the 2021 Belmont Annual Town Meeting, the town of Belmont proudly proclaims the second Monday in October as Indigenous Peoples Day. Whereas Columbus Day was officially made a federal holiday in 1937 to be celebrated on the second Monday of October with Mass General Laws Part 1, Title 1, Chapter 4, Section 7, Clause 18, setting aside the second Monday of October as a Massachusetts state holiday, and Mass General Laws Part 1, Title 2, Chapter 6, Section 12V, providing the governor declare that day to be Columbus Day. And whereas Columbus Day commemorates the landing of Christopher Columbus in the Americas, specifically in the Caribbean islands of the Bahamas, on October 12, 1492, and later on Hispaniola, present-day countries of the Dominican Republic and Haiti, and whereas the first voyage of Columbus to the Americas initiated the transatlantic slave trade, journal entries from Columbus show his desire to enslave the indigenous populations of the Caribbean, and he subsequently imprisoned and transported many hundreds of people to this end. And whereas Columbus's second voyage of 1493 was one of conquest, and his governorship of the Caribbean instituted systemic policies of slavery and extermination of indigenous peoples, especially the Taino Arawak population, whose population was reduced from millions to 100,000 during Columbus's reign, being further reduced by the continuation of his policies until near extinction in 1542, with the example of the Taino Arawak people indicative of the policies of Columbus and his men. And whereas, through the introduction of European diseases may account for some of these deaths, though the, though the introduction of European diseases may account for some of these deaths, starvation and overt extermination policies were mostly to blame. And whereas the devastation of indigenous populations would lead to the kidnapping, deaths and enslavement of at least 10 to 12 million African people, and the profound effects of the transatlantic slave trade and African diaspora continue to be felt to this present day. And whereas the cultures of the indigenous peoples of the Americas are worthy of being promoted, their history is rich, diverse, and worthy of celebration, and the actions and policies of European colonizers of the Americas actively destroyed and suppressed parts of these cultures. And whereas indigenous peoples of the lands that would later become known as the Americas have occupied these lands since time immemorial, and Belmont is the ancestral territory of the Massachusetts. 
And whereas the town of Belmont, Massachusetts has a history of opposing racism, this racism serving to perpetuate high rates of indigenous poverty and leading to inequities in health, education, and housing. And whereas the town wishes to honor our nation's indigenous roots, history, and contributions. And whereas the states of Alaska, Maine, Minnesota, New Mexico, South Dakota, and Vermont, and many cities and towns across the United States, including the Massachusetts municipalities of Somerville, Cambridge, Brookline, Newton, Marblehead, Salem, Amherst, Provincetown, Mashpee, and Great Barrington, and actually since we issued this, Boston, have heeded the calls of indigenous peoples to adopt Indigenous Peoples Day as a counter celebration in lieu of Columbus Day to promote indigenous cultures and commemorate the history of indigenous peoples, and thereby use the occasion to reveal a more accurate historical record. Now, therefore be it resolved that the select board is established that the second Monday of October, henceforth, be commemorated as Indigenous Peoples Day in Belmont rather than Columbus Day, in recognition of the position of indigenous peoples as native to these lands and the suffering they faced during and since the European conquest. The people of Belmont to observe Indigenous Peoples Day by reflecting upon the dispossession of the homelands and villages of the Massachusetts people of this region who lived here for millennia prior to the arrival of European settlers. And upon the history of the other indigenous peoples who have lived in Belmont and to celebrate the survival of indigenous peoples against all odds as well as to celebrate the thriving cultures and values that indigenous peoples have brought and continue to bring to our town and the wider community. Belmont Public Schools to observe this day with appropriate exercises and instruction in all schools around the time of Indigenous Peoples Day to the end that the cultural, history, and diversity of indigenous peoples be celebrated and perpetuated. The select board to encourage businesses, organizations, and public institutions to recognize and observe Indigenous Peoples Day or in any way act thereon. Select Board, Adam Dash Chair, Roy Epstein Vice Chair, Mark Palil Member, September 20th, 2021. Now, on behalf of the town, I want to present this proclamation. Now, we're also going to post it at Town Hall, but I want to present it jointly to, and you can come up and get uh, the Belmont Against Racism. <laughs> Catherine Bonfiglio, Chair. The Diversity Task Force. That's Kimberly Haley Jackson, Chair. The Human Rights Commission. <laughs> Brian Nadeau, Chair. And of course, we wouldn't be here without the, the leadership of our students, Alex Fick and Laura Orchover. There are many more people, but we can only print so many at the moment. So there'll be one printed, printed and posted at Town Hall for anyone to come and see to uh, show our, our intent and where, we're, where we want Belmont to go. So next, I would like to introduce Brian Nadeau, Chair of the Belmont Human Rights Commission. Thank you, Adam. Good morning, everyone. Welcome. So glad you're here. As the chair of the Belmont Human Rights Commission, we want to welcome you to the first of many Indigenous Peoples Day celebrations in the town of Belmont. Great. Without the courageous effort of our two Belmont High School students, Alex Fix and Laura Ovtarova, who you just heard from, we would not be here today. They lobbied the select board and town meeting to make this change to Indigenous Peoples Day in the town of Belmont. Yay, thank you for that. As someone who proudly hails from the citizen Potawatomi Nation and as a citizen of this great land, I also want to thank these two brave students for bringing about this long overdue change. Their work blends with many others across Massachusetts and the nation who choose to honor those that were here before. The native people who were here first have made countless contributions to this country and have proven themselves to be timeless stewards of the land we share. 
They also have survived many atrocities during our shared history, and this is one small step on the path to recognize and honor those that were here before. We want to thank these brave students, the select board, and the town meeting for helping the town of Belmont accurately acknowledge our past and elevating the role of Native Americans in our land. Thank you. I will now pass to Stephanie Clement, who will introduce our special guest, Stephanie. Thank you so much, Brian, and thank you all so much for being here today to celebrate Belmont's first Indigenous Peoples Day. I am here to introduce the main event. I just want to say a few words first. One is I want to draw your attention to this poster here. On it are QR codes where you can find out more information about other Indigenous Peoples Day events going on around our state for the rest of this month. You will also find information about the Massachusetts Indigenous Legislative Agenda Coalition. There are five bills that the um, uh, local Indigenous tribes are working to pass that reflect key concerns. So to learn about what those are and perhaps how to advocate, please visit that poster before you leave today. And now on to the main event. We are so excited to have Bomba Antiana with us here today. Bomba Antiana is a diverse group of people of varying ages and lived experiences, learning together, building community, and connecting themselves to their ancestors through Bomba. Bomba is the oldest living musical tradition of Boriken, the island currently known as Puerto Rico, and reflects the powerful forces that shaped the island's history, drawing from the West African Bantu and Taino indigenous experience with enslavement enforced on the island by the Spanish crown prior to the 1700s. Bomba music and dance originated in sugar plantations when the enslaved were allowed one day of rest. This art form was created, played, danced, and sung as a means of creative expression celebration, healing, resisting oppression, and secretly planning escapes. Bomba Antillana members dive deep into the learning, the history of this art form and of the Caribbean, learn traditional call and response songs and create new ones, move their bodies to communicate, and release what no longer serves them. So with that, we are so grateful on Belmont's first Indigenous Peoples Day to welcome Bomba Antillana. everyone doing? Awesome. Thanks for your patience as we finalize something here so that we can make sure you can hear our words and our songs. And we're going to ask you to dance with us, so get ready. Especially the children that I see. You guys are not scared to dance, are you? No, you're not scared. Oh, you're not children, sorry. Youth, youth, and adults. I get it. I was, I was your age once. All right. Yo la quiero, yo la quiero, yo la quiero. Celebration, conversation, communication, keep it going, bomba. What you will experience today might be something you've experienced before, maybe you've never experienced it, but we want to make sure that you understand what's going on so that you can maybe, I don't know, appreciate as much as we do. So we have our drummers here. 
Aren't they beautiful? These drums were made, well, not these particular ones, but these barriles were made in Boriquen by Taino and Bantu people using the resources, natural resources on the land of Boriquen, modeled after the drums they had in Africa before they were brought over and forced to live on a stolen land. We have the kwa, which are two little sticks here, played on a piece of wood. And these are specifically Taino instruments. So it's a maraca played by the lead singer most of the time. And then we have vocals. Aren't they beautiful? And the songs are sung mostly in Spanish because that is the language our people were forced to learn. So think Taino, there's different languages. In Africa, there's so many different languages and dialects. So this became the way in which those who were enslaved on the plantations, whether it was sugar, rice, coffee, they communicated through this art form that we now call bomba. Before, they didn't call it bomba. It was just a gathering that they were allowed, quotation marks, allowed by the Spanish conquerors to have one day off to do whatever they want. But they couldn't leave the plantation. So they came up with music and dance. So when you see one of our dancers come up, what you're gonna notice is that they're doing a basic step for each rhythm. And then they'll salute the main drummer, which is a primo. The main drummer will then mark all of the moves by the dancer. Sometimes they might not catch the first one, because guess what? It's improvised. She has no idea what I'm going to do, right? So she has to just catch on. All right, so in a little bit, we're gonna have you do some piquetes, which are the movements that a dancer does, okay? We'll get into that in a little bit. For now, we're gonna go into our next song. And I would like to invite Cassandra to dance.
nice rhythm that uh, you saw us sing to and dance to is called Sika. Can you say Sika? Sika. Awesome. There are five, five main rhythms in Bomba and many, many sub-rhythms under those five main ones. There are some that have been lost over the centuries that will probably never hear again. There are some that we are still trying to revive and are finding old, old recordings of, um, but all in all, and not as many as were in the beginning. So think of this, 500 years ago, friends, 500 years ago, this particular art form was created. And during those centuries, though, all these years, what ended up happening is these gatherings on the plantations ended up being used not just for celebration of life, for birthday parties, um, for kind of letting go of the day's stresses, but also it was, ended up being used for uh, planning escapes, planning escapes from the plantation. Can you believe that? So through the songs, some of the songs, most of them have hidden meanings. Through the movements, some of them have hidden movements that we know of, others we don't. And it was also a social gathering time. So just like this, people were around and we're in circles. This is what we're told, right? Because we weren't there, we don't know. But during this time, even out there talking, you can plan your escapes. So once the Spanish masters figured this out, they're like, uh-uh, no. What do you think they did? What do you think they, get, they did? Anybody. If they didn't like what was happening, they stopped it. That's right. They stopped it. They said, oh, you can't do that thing that you love to do every week now. No, nope, you can't do it anymore. So they made it illegal. So once, um, once slavery was abolished, it was still illegal because the Spanish were scared of this art form. Let's put it, that's all that it was. They were scared of this art form. They were scared of the power of the people through this art, art form because of so many, um, so many slaves that were able to escape because of it. Once the United States took over the land, right, because it was colonized by Spain for a long time, but once the United States took over, they didn't really care or understand why the Spanish were so scared of this art form. So they were like, sure, you can do it again. It was no longer illegal. But until then, what was that, 1898 or something like that? Until then, it was illegal. So some families were still playing bomba underground. Yes, they were still doing it. Some were beaten, some were jailed, and more because of this. So once, once it was legal to do again, families, some were still scared to do it out in the open. So for a long time, they were still doing it, but not in the open until somewhere in the 1960s. That's when you started seeing folks coming out in the open playing bomba. So that's how it survived. And I want to thank our ancestors for not only creating this art form, um, but, but for keeping it alive, knowing the cost of doing so. So I'm just going to give a shout out to our ancestors always for that. And shout out to Belmont for making today Indigenous Peoples Day here. Christopher Columbus didn't even make it here to the uh, to the to North America, right? From what I from what I learned. Yeah. But he did make it to Borique. And so we have this thing with Columbus of like, what do we acknowledge, what do we not? We acknowledge what actually happened. Let's just put it that way. So um, we're going to keep it moving. And this next song is a yuba. Can you say yuba? Yuba is one of the five main rhythms. So this one is more of a warrior dance, warrior stance, very authoritative. So we're going to have Sito come out and dance. And if you are interested in coming out to dance, why don't we start having people stand next to Cassandra? We have some skirts for people. You do not have to wear a skirt. Trust me, you do not need to wear a skirt. Um, so if you want to, but uh, let's do this, Juba.
pena que me persigue. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to cut this now because it just started raining and our drums are already not sounding so good. And with the rain, it makes it even worse. But my friends, we can improvise. Come on up, come on up, come on up. If you guys can play a, um, a Yuva rhythm from there, let's just improvise here, yes? Y'all ready? All right, so first things first, you're gonna step to the side. And then you're gonna step to the other side. Command that step, my friends. Go, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yes, yes. So if you have a skirt, you can move it with you. If you don't have a skirt, like this. Very authoritative. This is you back. Back. All right, but faster. Back, back. Let's all start together. Five, six, seven, eight. It's like you're running in place real fast. Yes! And hop! Yes! And run! Ready to hop? Yes! Shoulders! Faster! And chest! 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 chest, chest, chest. with us. I forgot, my friend here reminded me. We have a QR code which you can just, you know, snap a pic or uh, scan it on your phone and send us a message. Let us know you had a great time and we'll let you know wherever we're going to be next. So the QR code is right up here if you want it. And yeah, have a great day. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, this is our first celebration. We will see you here next year.